Hi, this is Tim Holmes from Cell College IT. Going to show you how to copy some track changes from Word into an Outlook email. We're using Word 2010 and, and Outlook 2010. So I've got my document here, and you want to go up to Review, Track Changes. Once that's highlighted, it means changes are being tracked. So I'm going to go ahead in here and delete change. So we'll assume this is the final document with your changes tracked. And what we want to do is go ahead and turn those off. Very important before we, we do the copying, we want to make sure that changes are off. So now we want to go up to the File tab, Options, and then let's look for Customize Ribbon. Under here on the right hand side, let's look for Developer. Go ahead and, and check that and hit OK. So that's going to give you this Developer tab up here, which is going to enable this Group option, which lets us get those changes tracked. So let's go ahead and select what we want. And then under the Developer tab here, let's go to Group. Let's go ahead and select to group those. Once that's grouped, I'm just going to right click, copy. And once that's copied, we're going to get our new email address going here. Our email message, I'm sorry. Let's go ahead and, and paste that into the message so you'll see. The coloring's a little different, but it, it's got the change there. Now you're ready to, to launch that off to whoever, and you got the, the changes there. So we'll go through that again once real quick. Get your doc that you've been tracking the changes on. Make sure you turn off track changes. Then we're going to want to go through the options, customize, make sure we got that developer enabled. Then we're going to go to the developer, copy what we want, give it a group, copy that, paste it into the email. Alright, um, I guess tracking changes isn't really supported in Outlook 2010 officially, um, but that seems to be a way to to get those changes over there without too much effort. Um, another quick quick option here simply with track changes on make your change grab this snipping tool if you just search in Windows 7 for snipping tool you'll see it here. You can always use this tool to grab a picture of what you're seeing, copy, paste that picture into the email as well. It doesn't have the actual text, it just shows you what is there. That's kind of a, another real quick workaround, but it's not as, not as clean as the other way. All right, and so if you have any questions, um, give us a buzz down at the help desk. Thank you. Bye.